how to place fsmo and global catalog roles in single domain active directory before we move forward let's take a look at the test lab which we are going to use for this demonstration for this demo we have total two virtual machines both running on windows server 2019 in virtual box we have a single domain active directory forest name malware.local in our domain we have total two domain controllers in a same active directory site when you deploy first domain controllers in the forest active directory installation wizard adds five fsmo roles to that domain controller and that's why that domain controller is also known as a root domain controller in our case we have deployed active directory first on our dc01 and that's why all those five fsmo roles are currently assigned to this dc01 and those roles are schema master domain naming master rid master pdc emulator master and infrastructure master out of those five fsmo roles two roles are forest wide and three roles are domain wide roles now what is the meaning of forest wide and domain wide let's be clear about it forest wide roles means in entire forest only one domain controller has that fsmo roles no matter how many domains you have no matter how many domain controllers you have in a same ad forest and domain wide roles means per domain one domain controller has those roles now suppose in our forest as of now we have only one domain but suppose in future if we deploy another domain with a single domain controller in it that time we have three more roles on that domain controller as well if you only have a one domain controller which is not recommended at all there's nothing to do since all role must be on that domain controller but suppose if you have multiple domain controllers in your domain that time you should move some of those roles to other domain controller as well it is also important to be aware of what servers are global catalog servers especially if you have more than one domain and even if you have only one domain so as of now as you can see our dc01 holds all five fsmo roles and as well as that server is also configured as a global catalog server so we want to move some of the roles from our dc01 to dc02 because we have a two domain controllers in our domain so for that uh, which role we should have to move to dc02 that we want to see in this video there are total three simple rules for fsmo roles based practices the first rule is in your forest root domain keep your schema master and domain naming master on a same domain controller to simplify administration of these rules and make sure that this domain controller contains a copy of global catalog server the second rule in each domain place the pdc emulator and rid master roles on a same domain controller and make sure the hardware of that domain controller can handle the load of these roles and any other duties it has to perform the third rule is in each domain make sure that the infrastructure master role is not held by a domain controller that also hosts the global catalog server and also you need to make sure that the infrastructure master is a directly replication partner of a domain controller hosting the global catalog that resides in the same site as the infrastructure master so by using this three rules we want to transfer some of the roles from our dc01 to dc02 so what exactly we are going to do in our test lab so first of all we will configure our dc02 to not to be a global catalog server then after we will move three domain wide roles from our dc01 and we will place those roles on our dc02 that we are going to do on our domain controller so let's jump to our dc01 uh this is our dc01 as you can see uh computer host name is that ws2k19-dc01 and the domain is malbrook.local and as you can see i have created one active directory site name mumbai hyphen nacho and our both domain controllers are stored under that active directory site uh let's open powershell because first of all we want to verify that whether the five fsmo rules are currently assigned to dc01 or somewhere else for that we need to run one command nat dom query fsmo as you can see right now all five fsmo rules are assigned to our dc01 and we can confirm from this console 
that our both domain controllers are currently configured as a global catalog server. So our first task is to not to configure DC02 as a global catalog server. For that, let's click on DC02. Uh, let's click on NTDS settings. Right click there and go for the properties. Here, as you can see, the checkbox is there. Uh, we just simply need to clear this checkbox. And after that, our DC02 will no longer act as a global catalog server. Fine, let's click on apply and click on OK. Let's check the application. So we want that this information must replicate with our all domain controllers. As of now, we have only two domain controllers. Fine, let's check the application. Okay, both domain controllers are in the same side. So replication will be definitely very quickly. Okay, now let's again click on service. Let's right click here and select refresh. Now you can see DC01 is configured as a global catalog server and our DC02 is not configured as a global catalog server. And now we need to transfer those three domain wide FSMO rules from our DC01 to DC02. And for that, let's minimize it. Remember, I am performing this operation on our DC01. You can do on DC02 as well. There will be no problem with it. Now, first of all, as you can see, this console is currently connected with DC01. Fine. Let's select my local, right click on it and select operation masters. Now here you can see all three domain wide rules are listed here. Currently RID, PDC and infrastructure master. All rules are currently assigned to DC01 and that we want to change. But directly we are not able to change it because current operation master is there and the currently selected domain controller is also DC01. So first of all, we need to change it. Fine. So let's click here and we need to change the domain controller. See, if you perform this action on a DC02, that time you don't need to do it. And that's why I am performing it on a DC01. Click on OK. And now we are connected with DC02. Let's again click on malab.local. Click on operation masters. And now we can simply change it because here you can see DC02 is listed. Let's click on change. And click on yes. Fine. Okay. Now, as you can see, current operation master is DC02. Let's do the same for PDC and infrastructure master. Okay. And do the same for infrastructure. Fine. Let's click on change. Click on yes. And click on okay. Fine. Let's close this console and let's close Active Directory users and computer console as well. Let's verify the same thing on our PowerShell as well. Let's again run command net dom query fsmo. And fine. Now you can see schema master, domain naming master, both rules are currently assigned to DC01 and RID, infrastructure and PTC are currently assigned to DC02. And right now our DC02 is not configured as a global catalog server. So let's again go back to the slide. Rule number one, in your forest root domain, as of now, we have only one domain and that is our mylab.local domain. You need to keep your schema master and domain naming master on the same domain catalog with global catalog. And that condition here, we fulfill that. Our DC01 is configured as a global catalog server and as well as uh, schema master and domain naming master are on our DC01. Let's check the condition number two. In each domain, place the PD simulator and RID master rules on the same domain controller. And that we have done. As you can see, PTC and RID on our DC02. The third condition was that in each domain, make sure that the infrastructure master rule is not held by domain controller that also holds the global catalog. Uh, we have also matched that condition as well uh, because infrastructure master is currently on DC02 and that DC is not configured as a global catalog server. We had one more condition that the infrastructure master must be able to perform replication directly from our global catalog server. And we have only two domain controllers in our activity site, Mumbai HO. And as you can see, DC02 is also directly connecting with DC01. So replication is directly possible with DC01 because both domain controllers are in a same active directory site. So this is a based suitable scenario for placement of FSMO rules and global catalog server according to our this test lab. That's it for this video demonstration. If you have any questions and suggestions related to this video, feel free to post those suggestions in a comment section. Thank you all for watching this video.